All right, uh, we'll get started and we'll start first with Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Eric, I know this was the year of the catch and release for the touchdown and now the second Pro Bowl night of your career. What has 2020 meant for you, you think, in, in the course of the entire thing since 2013? Yeah, uh, it's it's been a wild ride, man. Uh, you know, I'm I'm enjoying where I'm at, and uh, you know, we're obviously doing a lot of good things, winning a lot of football games. Uh, I mean, we've we've won a lot of games since I've been here, and um, you know, to get that nod, it was pretty awesome. Uh, to score a touchdown. I mean, these are things you'll remember the rest of your life. Uh, so you know, just just trying to stay the course and do my job and uh, do it to the to yeah, do it to the best of my ability. Let's go next to Sam McDowell. Good, Sam. Hey, Fish. Um, it, it, it's kind of an awkward situation after the Saints game because it seemed like you possibly weren't quite as healthy as, as you have been early in the season. What, what's just the balance of trying to grind through something and sort of weighing how much can I give in this certain game versus, you know, resting up for, for potentially the next week? Yeah. Um, you know, just here, here we are in week 16. And, uh, you know, obviously when you play every play of the season, you uh, you have a lot of wear and tear in the body, and you just keep keep grinding through things, man. Uh, obviously, there's adversity in every game for every position, every player. Uh, you just overcome that, keep on going, keep doing your job to the best of your ability, and uh, on to the next snap. Let's go next to Herbie T.O.P. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Eric. How are you, man? Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm well, thanks. To follow up on Sam's question there, um, I, I remember back in training camp, you had mentioned you wanted to be a, a first-time All-Pro. Um Usually in all pro seasons, there's a defining moment. How much would you say the, the way you toughed it out in week 16 was your defining moment? You know, I, you know, I, I kind of just, I have the mindset of show up to work every day, do my job to the best um, of my ability, like I said, and the rest of all that will take care of itself. Um, I think that's been my focus for a long time. Uh, I'm not, you know, obviously there's goals, but uh, you know, things, things that you do during the season, you know, obviously take care of those goals. I don't know if there's a defining moment. I try to be as consistent as possible. And, uh, you know, I think that's what pays off in the end. Let's go next to Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Fish. You know, Patrick's always talking during the game to you guys and giving you feedback. And Andy the other day said, you know, he'll, he'll encourage and chew you out at the same time. What are some of the kind of things that Patrick says to you during the game? And what, what, what kind of a leader is he like during the game? Yeah, I, I think we have such an awesome group where we have, you know, I, I think we have a lot of leaders on, on the field at the same time. And, uh, you know, we're all just, you know, motivating each other. But obviously, you know, we talk about in the line room, you can look back on the season and you're going to have that one game that was your best game. And you're going to have that one game that was was not your best game. And, you know, everybody's going to have a game or a play or a series. And, you know, I think we all just support each other and motivate each other. You know, when we see a guy's struggling, we all, uh, you know, jump in to encourage and, you know, we, we just keep, keep on rolling, man. It's, it's a game that there's a lot of adversity, you know, throughout and, um, you know, we just, we, we never panic. We, we stick together and we do what we've trained to do and we're, uh, we're enjoying it, having fun with it and uh, on to the next one, right? Go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Eric, were you anywhere close to 100% physically in New Orleans? And, and how much of you wanting to play had to do with the fact that Mitch and Remmers weren't available and the team really needed you on Sunday? Yeah, I, I don't think anybody who's played the entire season can say they're 100% right now. It's a, it's a long, grueling season, and uh, everyone has things here and there that, that pop up. And, um, you know, I take pride in, you know, being out there for the guys, uh, being out there for myself, being out there for the team. Um, you know, obviously, I uh, had a little little back issue last week and uh, fought through it and um, got the W and on to the next one. Let's go next to Sarin Petro. Go ahead, Sarin. Uh, the, the bye week, uh, you know, is, is at stake. The number one seed, you guys are very close to getting it. Um, where, where do you sit as far as you, you've had where, where you guys have sat and taken a week off? This would be kind of a unique scenario. I don't think you've ever had where you could potentially – be in a spot to be sitting the last game, then also get a bye week to where it'd be three weeks in between games. How, how do you balance, like, what do you need or uh, to be sharp versus, you know, rusty when, when you're at this point in the season? Yeah, I, uh, I leave those kind of things up to Big Red. Uh, you know, obviously he's, he's been in a lot of these uh, situations over the years. Uh, he's, he's seen 
seen a lot more football than I have. Um, so whatever, whatever uh, position he puts us in, you know, I'm going to trust it. I know that he'll make the decisions to make sure that we're ready. Um, you know, so it's not really something that's uh, concerning my mind, but uh, you know, obviously there's thought processes that go, uh, go into play there and um, you know, whatever it is, it is, and we'll go out there and do our job. Got time for two more quick ones. We'll go Darren and then Matt. Go ahead, Darren. Hey, uh, Eric, look, like you said, you toughed it out last week against the Saints. What's it feel like for you when you have a former, well, you have an NFL Hall of Famer, former Saints and Chiefs lineman, uh, Willie Rove, talking about you and giving you high praise on Twitter as well as the different shows this week? Yeah, I don't I don't, I don't really uh, go on the, the Twitter that much, but, uh, you know, if he's saying good things, you know, I, I appreciate that. Um, obviously, you know, being a former lineman, knowing what, you know, it's not not that everybody knows what uh, what linemen or anybody really in the locker room goes through on a day to day basis. Uh, you know the strain we go through. You know, it's a, like I said, it's a long season. Um, there's a lot of ups and downs and a lot of things that uh, take place over you know that many weeks. Um, you know, but that's awesome. You know that uh, getting the support from him. Um, but you know, I'm just like I said, just coming in to do my job every day. We'll go last to Matt McMullen. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Eric, uh, so you're one of the few guys that's been here since 2013 when Coach Reed got here. And I know it's week to week, every single uh, game here, but I'm just curious, when you kind of reflect on your time here in Kansas City, what's it mean to you that you're, you've been one of the core guys that's been part of what Coach Reed has built here, and now it's a team that's won 13 games in 14 weeks? Yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, I think it's me, Sherman, Trav left. We started calling ourselves the Three Musketeers. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, – you know, we, we've seen a lot of Chiefs football here and uh, we've won a lot of games, like I said, and uh, to be a part of that, to be uh, one of the building blocks of it and to be uh, along with this coaching staff for the last eight years, it's, 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 uh, you know, it's an honor and um, I've really enjoyed it. I've, uh, I've learned a lot. I've grown a lot. I think all, everyone can say that, um, you know, all three of us, I guess, um, but it, it's sweet. Yeah. To win th 13 games with two games to go still, I mean, that, that's amazing. Um, but I think we're just, you know, focused on today and, uh, you know, we can reflect back on all this stuff, you know, in the off season. 